Okay, this is a picture of, uh, this is the largest picture I could find of an Apollo lander. It's at the Guinness Book of World Records downtown. Several anomalies I want to point out here. So this was done with a uh, backward masking. Stanley Kubrick perfected the technique. You can see the line of demarcation here. Runs like this. So this is all an actual set, and this is backward masking. If you look for pictures of the lunar lander, none of them look this good. This is one that was shot uh, afterwards on a different stage from the one where they actually, sh uh, or this was a different uh, model that they shot on a stage than the one that they used for most of the shots. You'll notice there's no debris here. There's no blast crater. Uh, all the other Apollo landers have uh, crinkles all along here. This one doesn't. Uh, the, the, the stuff's here in way better shape than all the other ones, though, so check, check all those out. These are in much better shape. Uh, so this was shot after the fact. Look at the beveled uh, photos of all the other ones. You can see where they're beveled. This one's a totally different one from the one shot later on. Uh, so it was shot after the fact. Uh, check out stereoscopic parallax. It's a way of looking at photos to tell objects in the distance. When you do the parallax on this, this shows depth, this doesn't. So anyway, check that out. And check out the work of Bart Sabrell, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon.